Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Like with Shelly here. Um, I hope everyone is doing well, and if you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, welcome back. Um, in my video today is going to be what's in my bag video. So this is my bag. Hanson was my favorite band since I was 10 years old. So this is what it looks like. This is Hanson. I customized it and yeah so and then this is the stuff that I use for my washing my face clean and clear it's the deep action cream cleanser sensitive skin oil free fragrance free gentle formula with added moisturizers clean steep down to the pores and this is what I use so this doesn't help with everybody's face, but it does for me and it does the job. And also when I wash, or say if I'm wearing makeup, which I'm starting not to wear much anymore because I feel like I really don't need a lot of makeup. I used to wear a lot of, um, I used to wear a lot of makeup, like makeup foundation and stuff like that. But now I hardly do, so I don't wear a lot of makeup. I hardly do wear a lot of makeup, just sometimes. So I would do is get all the makeup off, like with a makeup wipe, and then I would use like some soap or something to wash all the excess, like just to give my face an extra clean feeling. And then I would use this stuff to clean my face really good with it and it helps really well. Um, it doesn't help with everybody's skin because everyone's skin is different, but this stuff really helps my skin. And I like going for the natural look because, I don't know, I kind of just like it. You don't have all this makeup on, especially for summer. Like, I don't, probably not gonna wear a lot of makeup because, or wear waterproof mascara and then maybe some chapstick or something or maybe just lip gloss or something. In the summer, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. I don't wear really much makeup at all because I feel like I have flawless skin and I really don't need a lot of makeup. And also, if you don't wash the makeup off, it's really bad for your skin if you don't wash it off. So if you wear makeup, make sure you always wash it off because it's important. Even if you do kind of feel kind of lazy, you still should wash your makeup off but I think I forgot once or twice to wash off my mascara one night and I left it on but then the next morning I washed my face really good I washed my face twice so, so then I know for sure that my makeup is off or the mascara is off but that's about it so this is what I use to wash my face this stuff is just really good and then let me show you some things. This is what I got from Disneyland when my husband and I went to um, on our Disneyland honeymoon when we got married on February 24, 2024. My husband and I got married and we went to Disneyland for our honeymoon and I got to get some Disneyland or Disney um, Minnie Mouse headbands. So these, this is one of them. This one's one of my good ones. And then I got, well, this one I bought on Amazon a long time ago. I like Nightmare Before Christmas, and I love Halloween. I love haunted houses. I love horror movies. Um, I like dressing up for Halloween. And then this is one of my favorites, too, for Halloween. And then I got this cute one. And then I got... And I got this one. So, I like the little pearls on it too. I don't know if you guys can see it. See, this one's so cute. I love this one a lot. I like headbands. And then I got, from Disneyland, I got Stitch. Stitch is my favorite. He's cute. Um, okay, so back to my video. This is my bag, Hanson and Hanson. So, this is a cute bag. It holds a lot of stuff. Like I said, 
said it, I love headbands. So these are all my headbands. You can get these on Amazon. And you get a six pack. This is where I'm wearing the brown one with curls on it. You get a six pack of these. So good. And then this is my favorite Aria Grande perfume, Sweet Like Candy by Aria Grande. And then I got two. And And it smells really good. And then, it smells so good though. I love Aria Grande's perfumes. They smell so good and I love Aria Grande's music. She has really good music too. But not everyone likes her kind of music and stuff. But that's okay, everyone's different. It doesn't really matter. And then I got a whole bunch of hair scrunchies, bracelets. And then I got these cute, impressed fake nails. These are white and blue ones, and um, glitter ones. They're really pretty. And I got this cute hair scrunchie. And then I got impressed nails again. I got these white and blue and glitter ones. Blue, yeah, blue and white glitter ones. And then I got these flowered ones. And then I got these Christmas ones. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm not gonna go through it all because I know my cat, he'll want to get my bracelets and stuff. This is all my jewelry and stuff. And I have like um, two hair extensions down here. Like if, I, if there's a day I don't like, I don't want like short hair, I can put it up, like I can put it in a bun and then I can put my hair in a hair extension. And hair extensions are really pretty. I don't go like get my hair done for a hair extension. I go to, I don't go anywhere. I just go on Amazon window shop and I find a hair extension that's a claw clip and there's like fake hair on it and it clips to your hair and then you'll look like you'll have long hair. I like doing that sometimes. Sometimes I'm sick of short hair. Um, and then I got these cute little sponges. I got these from the dollar store. Like you can like put that on your on your face or whatever. So I got these. Um, yeah, so these can go like pat it on your face. Um, I'm thinking about doing a makeup tutorial sometime, but I'm not sure when. And I still want to make the video of talking about my anxiety. If I get around to it, I might make a video tomorrow talking about my anxiety, but I'm not sure. Um, there's just a lot of things to go through of talking about it and what stuff that will help me may not help you, help you guys with anxiety. Some things help me with anxiety, but not everything will help me as well as you guys. So a lot of different things for anxiety will help different people, but not the same. Like it may help you, like if you have anxiety, it might help the person like me, but it may not help everyone that has anxiety. A lot of different things help different people with anxiety. And then I have a mirror. I put a sticker on it because I love cats. So I put a cat sticker and that's what it looks like like that so I got a mirror in my purse to do makeup <sighs> then I got a whole bunch of stuff in here that's why it says stuff s t u f f stuff and then when you open it this I got this from Amazon so I have a whole bunch of stuff in here that you guys can't really see much but that's all of my stuff oh my <laughs> oh my, it has a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so I don't know how I'm going to go through all this because it's just so much and it's so hard to try to organize things and put things away and stuff. And also, I drank a lot of water too. Um, also, I'm trying to stay hydrated and stuff, so especially it's getting hot out in our state, so... I think staying hydrated is a good idea. So, I know, I just love that smell of Aria Grande perfume. It smells so good. 
So I got a brush in here and I got a comb. Then I got a pen, I got a tweezers so I can pluck my eyebrows, but I don't pluck too much now. I'm trying to let them grow. Um, I just pull out like some kind of hairs on my chin that I don't like. I get like that. Um, then I use mascara. So I have these two mascaras and I have lipstick. This is like a lipstick, pink lipstick. It's glittery. And then it comes with a gloss. I got this from Walmart. Um, in Walmart, they have so much makeup, but it's hard to decide what makeup that I wanted. There's so much. And then, so this. It smells like marshmallows to me, I don't know why, but it smells so good. I got this from Victoria's Secret and it was like $30, $35 just for lip gloss. It's outrageous, that's why I would never buy makeup from Victoria's Secret or whatever. Ulta, I think. It's Ulta, not Victoria's Secret. It's Ulta, sorry. Um, and then I got this cute lipstick color that I wore for, my, for our wedding. And then I, on that, I put a darker shade on it, so it looked really pretty. Um, I should do like a wedding makeup, like so you can see what kind of wedding makeup I did. But also, for wedding makeup, you don't want it to be too much. And also, you don't want it to look like a clown. You want to make sure you look pretty and resentable. I'm doing like wedding makeup so I may do since I already got married I kind of know what makeup I used so I can do a tutorial of um, doing my or do an ASMR tutorial maybe I don't know wedding tutorial makeup which I already did get married but this is the blush that I used for when I got married and it's called flirted flirted up colorful blush and it's what color? Usually it says what color, but I'm not so sure. Maybe that's just the color of it. But if you can see, this is the color of it. I think it's a cute blush. And I love how there's a little mirror, a compact mirror right there. So then, like, you can put your blush on. And I don't wear a lot of makeup, guys, because I don't go out anywhere really. If I did, I would do maybe a light makeup. Um, I don't really wear foundation. Like I used to wear powder foundation, like just powder all my all over my face. But for some reason, it makes my face flaky and dry. I don't like how it looks. So then I just use a liquid foundation instead, and that's a little bit more better. But then if you do liquid, you gotta make sure you blend it out really, really good. Make sure you don't forget any spots and stuff. But other than that, I really don't wear a lot of makeup. And then I got this black lipstick. I'm gonna wear this for Halloween. I like black, really. And black lipstick and black eyeliner and everything black. Um, I used to be goth in high school. I just, I was obsessed with the colors pink and black a lot. And I used to just love putting makeup on. And I just loved, um, like I just loved putting um, makeup, playing with makeup, kind of trying to sense like what kind of makeups I should put on, what colors, what shades, and stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun. Um, but makeup can be messy and makeup is expensive. That's why I don't really wear much makeup. If I did, I would wear really little because I'm trying to let my makeup last. And I really don't wear a lot of makeup because, I don't know, I used to get into a group of wearing it all the time, but I really don't go anywhere, so there's no sense of putting makeup on. Um, today I'm just cleaning out my bag and stuff like that. Um, um, like, like I said, guys, I love this, um perfume it smells like candy and stuff like cotton candy 
and I think that's why it says sweet white candy it smells really really good I got these from Aria Grande perfumes I got these from Walmart and they just smell super good and they just smell really really good like I just spray a little bit on my wrist And then I don't use too much. I kind of learned not to put too much because people may have allergies and stuff and putting too much um, perfume can give people headaches and stuff like that. So sometimes if a perfume is way too strong, I would only put one squirt or maybe two squirts. It depends on the perfume. You don't want to put too much on because perfumes, like I noticed too, Perfumes can give me a headache, so I would just put like one squirt and that's it, or maybe two and that's it. Um, I kind of just kind of lean off of putting a lot of perfume on because perfume can smell good, but it also can give you a really bad headache and you don't want that. Um, headaches suck no matter what and allergies suck no matter what. Um, even pain sucks since I had my once my husband and I got married and we got back from our honeymoon, um, I had to get gallbladder surgery. So I'm really, really glad for that. I got gallbladder surgery because I had a really bad, intense pain. Um, now I don't have intense pain anymore, which I'm happy about because that really hurt. Um, so yeah, I would say kind of stay away from if you're gonna put a lot of perfume on, maybe you stay home. Cause I don't know, it perfume can give you a really bad, serious headache, and you don't want a headache. Like, if I was going out, I would just maybe just use one squirt or two. But if it's really, really strong, I'd just put one or maybe none, or just use like body lotion or something. I mean, I know like you want to smell good and stuff, but sometimes it's like. You don't want to put too much on because people can be like the perfume or the smell could be really irritated to them or irritant to them so and it might make them sneeze or it might give them a really bad headache because I know I noticed that if I put too much by accident I notice I get a really bad headache and just like headbands sometimes I don't wear them all the time either um just sometimes um I don't wear headphones, not headphones, he um, headbands a lot because sometimes they kind of hurt my head and it, it can cause a headache. So I try not to wear um, headbands that much, but I do like them because it makes my hair, like it just makes my hair like just look nice, I guess, and pulling it back looks good. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I will see you next time in my next video. Bye. Take care. Bye.